So where we're situated in Victoria is um, sort of on the outskirts of the King Valley and so we've got the best of both worlds here. It's beautiful, um, we have a big a high rainfall, lots of wineries um, and a fairly close knit community that like there's a lot of people around that are close to us and we have family around us as well but we're sort of in the foothills of um, the ranges so we're nestled in a little valley where it's quite pretty and we've got a creek running through the property and we first started with um, a couple of goats that were hand reared because someone was sick of hand rearing them we understand that now um, and um, they asked us because we have like a bit of a menagerie here of animals and they asked us if we wanted these two little ones and so we took them on and they just really are a beautiful animal anyway so we raised them the, the girl had babies we ate the boy we just let them you know grow up here and all that sort of stuff and then um, well, we had the fires come through our place in 2007 and it burnt everything up to the house so um, all our cattle had to go because we had no feed, we had no fencing, we had no hay or any silage and so they, um, we sold the cattle and then um, our fences got redone and we decided we'd get some goats because we had good fencing. So we got the goats and from there, now we have about 500 goats. So we had 30 and now we've got 500 in. So they um, have grown on us. Um, obviously once the, once the billies go in, um, well not obviously, we put the billies in for, yeah, sort of up to sort of six weeks. Um, just obviously to make, usually they join within the sort of first week or so, um, but just to make sure any that uh, miss that first cycle, which uh, cycle the same as cattle 18 to 21 days, I think it is. I'm out there gestation periods are around 150 days, so it's a day of five months. Um, and then obviously once the kids hit the ground, obviously they fill out to where, where we're looking at the mark, trying to concentrate on prime capretto, which is around the 30 kilos, or just under the 30 kilos milk fed kid. And then uh, from, obviously, once they get to that age, we, our requirements through the market, whatever numbers we need, uh, to uh, gather coal in one grade of the butchers, uh, abattoirs, sorry, gather coal. And then from there to the butchers, which we use Mick Oxenham, which is Edward Street Butchery in one grade. And then, yeah, obviously, then from there, Connie does a lot of the ingredients and helps uh, pack and for the sausages and stuff, as well as the meat cuts. And from there, obviously, to the prime safe registered trailer to the market. Well, I like going to them. I like meeting the people and everything. There's a lot of really, we've made some really fantastic um, connections there and some really nice people. And um, it's just a, it's a great way for us to sort of show our product and what we do and um, for people to try what we, take a taste of what we're doing. Because we do actually get a lot of people come up and have a look around the farm and they like to see what we're doing and how we go about stuff and everything so it's good to um, to show all that side of it as well. Um, Dave doesn't like doing markets. No, there's always something else happening here sort of thing so um, I find it to be able to get stuff done here I've got to actually be here. Yes. <laughs> um, that's the only, I actually quite enjoy the markets, I don't mind that sort of thing but I just find that uh, time is a little bit of essence. Yeah we need more time. More time. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so the market's good though. There's lots of people that we, you know, we've met and like spending time with and everything. And the majority of the people that we work alongside in the markets are really awesome. They're farmers just like us and mm. they work hard just like us. And it's good to see someone else's perspective on how they go about stuff and what they do. And we've learnt lots from the people at the markets as well. And, I hope that they've learnt stuff from us too. We had a little bit of help with that. It's a lady that um, has helped us with, um, I should probably call her the Sausage Queen. Yeah. And initially I spent a bit of time with her and um, putting all the 
ingredients together for the sausages. And then from there we um, we put together the um, meatball mix and hamburger mix as well. So, so the hamburger and um, meatball mix, we do two of those. So that's one I suppose that she's also helped with, but it wasn't her hands-on like it was with the sausages. So we sort of developed that and put the flavours in and, and tried to make them beautiful. I oh, look, a lot of people, because um, we have offerings of the um, sausages and the meatballs at the um, markets, then people are able to taste them and, and um, a lot of people that don't eat sausages will sort of go, oh, these are nice. So it's really good to get that feedback. But obviously there's some people who just go, Oh, no, I'm not touching goat, or I don't like sausages, or yeah, they, they won't even try them, which is okay. I mean, I think you've we're... converted a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of people that just won't try sausages at all. Of like, they are beautiful, so that's really good. From there, people might buy sausages first up, and then they might come back and they and they might try the little steaks, or they might go for a roast or something like that. So it just builds from the sausages and the meatballs to yeah, onto the um, the meat cuts. So during the week um, we have, all of us have jobs, so um, that consists of our four children giving a hand with everything and um, they do a mighty fine job because they work pretty hard and I don't, I don't think that we could fault what they do because um, I don't think there'd be many other teenagers that would be interested <laughs> in um, doing what these guys do so in the mornings they'll probably they'll get up and feed babies fortunately this year we've only got a couple but in the past we've had 50 babies to feed three times a day um, which the kids did most of that and then at night time we have the marema dogs the livestock guardians that um, look after the baby goats the kids usually feed the children sorry usually feed the, the dogs and um, all little odd jobs like watering trees and then they also help out packing the car and the trailer to go to markets. They also help at the markets and do an awesome job at the markets and well without the children doing the jobs that they do we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing because they put on a lot of effort in everything that they do so we're very proud of them. <laughs> Aren't we, honey? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>